we are going to discuss the NBA All-Star Weekend is coming up. I will truly say I'm excited for one thing, and that is Steph Curry versus Sabrina Anasco. I hope I'm saying her name right. Uh, for a three-point shootout, nothing else about this weekend excites me. It's in Indianapolis. All I know about Indianapolis are the Colts and That's what you're excited for? I believe Daytona NASCAR. I don't know what else they do there. I think they, they uh, Paul George told me that he does a lot of fishing while he's there. So I don't even know why it's there. Um, hey, Rudy, fun fact. Fun, fun fact, Rudy. You know the last time the NBA All-Star was in Miami was in the 90s? Yeah, 1991 or two. How is that even it? possible? Rudy was 32. I was 14. I was 14 years old, man. 13, 14 years old. Anyway. I remember it. That, I remember it. How is that possible? How? Miami? That's the last time you've been in. The, it makes no sense. Um, Adam Silver. No sense. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you, Adam. Why does Miami have an all-star game every 10 years? It, just, every it doesn't make sense. It's Miami. It, it, it's, but, it's like having the Super Bowl here every, like, every but I seven digress. years. Um, guys, this is going to be a twofer. I want you guys to tell me how you feel about NBA All-Star and um, the big fight that's been announced pay-per-view for NBA All-Star Weekend between Shannon Sharp and Mike Epps. Let me, let me, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. Man, the, 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 the NBA All-Star has fallen off, man. It's not what we, we grew up on. All the top players not being scared to compete in dunk contests. Like, imagine LeBron in a dunk contest. LeBron could literally do a regular two-hand standing dunk, and everybody would give him a nine. You just need that all-star. Like, if you're in an all-star game, you should be in, like, the contest, bro. Like, we shouldn't be getting Chick Chippewa from, from fucking the D-League to come and save the dunk contest. We need, we need, we need our all stars to be there, and and it's a shame that people like LeBron, the Anthony Edwards, the Zion Williamson, and, and kind of a shame, and I hate to put it on LeBron, hey, but he but he started this. LeBron started this with the all stars not competing in that. Like everybody used to, it was like a badge of honor. You went there, you competed, you didn't care about how it looked or whatever you did. Because LeBron does a windmill and Chip Chick Wawa does a windmill. It looks it's just different. Like LeBron could do it. It's just it just it just gets your eye and it gets you into it. What, what's his name, but Nick? Scrap all that. I'm all into the three point contest. I wish they would add sixteen players to it. I'm I'm all down for it to be a sixteen to eight to four to two. I know that's a lot of shooting and you could take out all the gadget all the gadget things that they added, the, the five-point shot and all the deep ones. You can still have it there, but just make it two-point and not all the other things and just have the three-point contest be longer because it has taken over the All-Star Weekend. That's what we want to see. We want to see all the greatest shooters. And I don't care if Steph Curry kept winning. Let's add him again. Let's add Clay Thompson. Let's add Damon Lillard. Let's um let's get the shooters that we want to see, the All-Stars in the, in the contest, not um Chip Chickawawa cousin. I mean. Let's let's get these people in there. Um, the dunk contest. I don't even know who's in there this year. I think we still get. Um, I don't even know who's in there, bro. It's it's crazy. But um, Jalen Brown. Oh, at least we got one All Star. We do have Jalen Brown in there. We got Mac Mac Daddy, um, and then somebody from I don't even know many more. This is this is becoming a, a laughing stock thing, and um. Yeah, topping. Um, yeah, kill that, kill that, kill that. Let's go to three point contest. Let's do sixteen players in the in the, in the three point contest, and let's just move on from there. You ready for me, or you want to talk? About, did you Nick, look at what happened? Rudy, with do my you have any thoughts? Uh, my thoughts are: is I hate it. I hate the whole All Star Weekend. I think it's a waste of time. <laughs> why, why am I shocked, Nick? Why uh, am I shocked? You, 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 you know, because I grew up to different. I grew up to different basketball. When like, they I can't. When they comp- when it was competitive, when it was fun to watch, for like, four quarters. Yeah, for four quarters, they played ball. Like it wasn't this garbage that we're watching now. Like where they're just throwing the ball off the backboard. Someone get out of the way so he can dunk. You move out of the way so he can shoot. No one wants to defend anybody. It's not a basketball game. Like this is an opportunity 
for to see the stars of the league battle each other. Like there was pride for that crap back in the day. There was a pride. Magic Johnson wanted to win. Isaiah wanted to win. Bird wanted to win. Jordan wanted to win. Like these guys wanted to win. These dudes today don't even care. They don't even want to. They really, they really don't even want to be there. If you want to be honest about it, they'd rather be at home, um, vacationing for four days, having more load management, rest time. Because you know, back in the day, the All Star Weekend was like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and they were back on the court by mm-hmm. Tuesday. And now they get a whole week and a half off, so they're getting ten days off. You know, to for which. They really play for, you know, a half an hour. They don't play hard. The whole, what is that thing they call at the end, that that fourth quarter thing where it's um the first to whatever points. Four points, the Kobe thing. That well, is- yeah, but they have a name for it, and I don't know what the name of it is. But, I mean, that, even that, like, it's it makes it a little bit more. They, they, they finally seem like they want to be a little bit more competitive then. But it shouldn't take that. It shouldn't come down to. <clears throat> three quarters of absolute trash where no one's defending anybody. No one cares. And the game is a complete, I have not, I don't watch the all-star game. I don't watch the basketball all-star. I might flick it on when I, when I see that they're going into the fourth quarter to see that they actually give a shit about playing because they don't care about playing. And it's no different than the, than the, than the stupid pro bowl bogus nonsense. We just watched. It's not as bad. No, this is worse actually, because they're Ooh. actually playing the, this is worse. They don't even have pads on. Really. <laughs> no, they're not. Exactly. They're, they're not even playing a game. They're playing a different game. Here we're playing basketball. And, it, I mean, for what it's worth, it, it is probably the worst brand of ba- basketball that you've ever seen. I guarantee you this year, it'll be over 200 points by each team. But, I guarantee you. There's 150 being put up a game now. This thing will have over 200 points scored by both teams. But, and it won't be competitive. Now, it's to be a rec league honor game. Like, Shit, it's me versus the best person on the opposite side at my yeah. same position. But I also get to play with four other supreme athletes that I yeah. don't normally get to play with during Monday through Sunday. And now I get to play with these guys, and we're going against the other team top players. And we want to show them that I'm the motherfucking best, and you can't do nothing about it. And you're best, and I'm the best, but I'm going to show you who's motherfucking better. And now we're not seeing that, like, like, I don't care who you, like, if you're a competitor, you want to win every game. That's why I show respect to Russell Westbrook, because he don't give a goddamn. He could be in that all-star game, and that's what we call it, the Russell Westbrook special, because he's going to go hard the whole game. And, they be like, and people hold that against him. Like, no, everybody else should be playing it the same way, because this is what the fans want to see. It's good to win championships, but if you step in that game and you bust ass that night, Man, you look that differently, man, because like your team might not just be good enough to be to win a game, to win a championship, but now you're playing with all great players and then you're showing that you're the best in that situation. Now we're like, hmm, maybe if that guy had a couple players on his team, he could get them to where they need to go. But no, these players look at it in a, such a different manner that it's just, man, it's upsetting that to, to, to know that that's what the yeah. game has come down to, man. Yeah. It should be such a fun atmosphere. It should be so competitive. But it's just not. As far as the dunk contest is concerned, you throw it in the trash can. You don't need to do it anymore. It's a waste of time. You've seen every dunk under the sun. The real players don't want to do it. And, I mean, I ain't going to... LeBron James, for 20 years, would not be in this competition, and we know why. He was afraid he would lose. Because he's not a great competition dunker. He's a power game dunker. His dunks in games look unbelievable. Booty. If LeBron yeah. did his game dunks in the in a in an all star game, in an all star time. I don't think he wins. He is still you, you you think he beats Aaron Gordon under his legs over the mascot type thing? Because of his name and he's still bringing the, the he, you No, know, people people will watch but he won't win. If he did he it in win. the first few years, he would have won. Yeah, in the first few years, but now Let's like how he, high he was jumping. But now he can't jump as high. So but but I just think that the fact that that guy has not ever, never been in this thing is he embarrassing. It. He fucked it up. Huh? Because Kobe was in it. MJ was in it. I mean, every high-flying guy was in it. Stars. Not bums. Rudy. Stars. I wouldn't even... You know what? I would rather see LeBron in a three-point contest. Like, if you're not going to do... Dunk, I'm not mad at it. Like, I'm not saying that he's going to win it. But I just... Why, so why doesn't he do it? I don't... I think... Why do you really think why he doesn't do it? 
LeBron goes through a lot of things in his mind. He try to be more smart. He try to be smarter than everybody else. He think he, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to lose in front of. He, he, don't, he doesn't want to lose an individual competition. Topics of it, and then you're gonna have people like Skip Bayless saying, oh, <clears throat> "He Jordan did it, and he won it, and then things like that." I think it actually gets to him, but it will be great for us to see as fans. We'll just, we'll I would love to see it. I mean, who was the the three point competition? I, I love the three point competition. Amazing. I wish they I wish they go back to the way it was. Now they it's they make they truncate it down real real tight window and what like six guys and it goes from six to three or six to I don't know how it even goes. Eight to eight, eight. eight to four and then four to two or whatever it is. Maybe something like that. Yeah, I, I don't like that. It used to be one on one, like you, you shoot against this guy. It used to be eight to four. Four yeah. to two and two. I I, I I like brackets for this. And I'd like to see a three point. Now, this thing that with with Steph Curry and Ionescu, Sabrina Ionescu from the WNBA, it's embarrassing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's embar it's embarrassing. I don't. Know. It's embarrassing. Are they gonna play shoot from the NBA three line, or are they gonna shoot from the women's three line? Like you want to tell me who the best shooter is? You're shooting from the NBA three line, and you're using a man's ball because this crap. Where I've seen plenty of three point competitions in college. Where they show the women and the men, and they compete against each other before the final four, and the women win a lot of the times because they're playing with a ball that's smaller and shooting from closer. Twenty eight point five, and that ball, that 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 much of a difference in the ball, it goes in a lot more. So she said, play, <laughs> but, "But but 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 play with the man's ball." I just think the whole thing is absolutely stupid. And if Steph Curry loses to her, he'll never live this down. Step, step, all right, so Steph Curry's in a no-win situation. If he wins, he loses. If he loses, he wins. <laughs> but if he loses, if he loses, he, he loses. Into into the, to the media eye, but we know. Come on, Steph is Steph. No, no, to the media eye, no. But did, I guarantee you, if you ask most of the public, did you know that the women's balls are the different size than the man's ball? Most people wouldn't know the difference. No. The general public would not know the difference. And most people would not know the difference that the women's three is closer than the men's three. They wouldn't know that until they see it, and they're like, "Oh, she, she's shooting from twenty-one feet." No, it's a difference. He, it's a big no, it is a huge difference. It's a huge difference. I hope if she's shooting. I know. It's, 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 if you're shooting from twenty-one feet or twenty-four feet, there's a difference. Now, I don't want to brag about my Division One fifteen percent three-point percentage, but <laughs> it's a difference. <clears throat> big time. So I, I think that thing is terrible too. I don't like to brag about that fifteen percent. One out of eight, eight, eight. One out of every eight shots so was going in. <laughs> there was a moment where they talked about doing a dunk contest with people from the street. That was the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Like, yeah, they can jump high. Great. No one knows who the hell they are. Nobody cares. Exactly. So, but if you, what will be your, what will be your top four dunk contest players you will pick right now? In the in the NBA right now or right in history? Now, top four. You have to pick four people and put you on the spot. This is the Nick Dimes. Anthony Edwards is one. Anthony Edwards, Zion Williamson. Now, I would hope Zion Williamson wouldn't blow his leg out in this competition. That's probably That's why he doesn't do it. Um, Anthony Edwards, Zion Williamson. I'll tell you what, I'd like to see Russell Westbrook. Right he now. Still, he's missing man, dunks man, he's, he can't, he, he can't he, jump anymore. He's missing dunks by himself. John Morant. Okay. If he's healthy, if okay. he's healthy, John Morant. Come on, come on, Rudy, come on. Pick I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you laugh here. Pick your guy. Pick your guy. Victor Wembanyama. No way. I would love to see it. I would love to see that long ass dude bring the ball under his legs, might. and see if he can do it. One because he's so it's so he's, far away from him. He's already done that before. Can you? I mean, <laughs> he might take off from the three point line. Hey, if he did that and dunked it, he's gonna win. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, that would be my. I'm sure there's someone else I could think of, but no. You know who I might think of? I might look at Jonathan Kaminga. Ooh. Yeah, Jonathan Kaminga, who's becoming a baller after he had the worst haircut in history. Yeah, he's scaring people to death. It's bad. <clears throat> he's playing great. He's playing great. Actually, oh, he's amazing. You heard what Draymond said? <laughs> 
Yeah, the cut, the the cut, what the cut made him get better? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, he, said, he said him being suspended actually was a good. Yeah, thing. yeah, he said that. Yeah, J- Draymond would somehow make it about himself. I mean, the only guy that's more narcissistic, think, as narcissistic as LeBron, is Draymond Green. I think it made him realize that Kaminga should have been started, but we really we didn't realize that. Yeah, but it also made him. I guess it made it seem that they made it that Draymond should be at the five. He's a five nowadays. So it changed. So the did, game. 